way to eat. Hey everybody, I'm Lauren Toyota and I'm hot for food. Chatelaine and I have teamed up to take all the creamy, cheesy, and sometimes meaty comfort foods you know and love and put a delicious vegan spin on them. On today's episode, classic cheesecake. Let's vegan it. So what do we think of when we think of cheesecake? It's sweet, tangy, and creamy. And of course, it's made with cheese. Well, guess what? I'm gonna make it without cheese and you're not gonna know the difference. So we're gonna start by making a really simple crust for the base of the cheesecake and it's actually gluten-free because I'm using oats which I'm gonna pulse into flour and just a couple of other simple ingredients. So you do need a food processor or you could buy oat flour already ground up. Okay, so we just wanna whiz these up in the food processor until it's a really fine crumb and there's no chunks of oats in there. So there's our oat flour. And now to this, we are gonna add some brown sugar. A little bit of sea salt. And some melted vegan butter. And what this actually ends up tasting like is the traditional graham cracker crust that you usually see on the base of a cheesecake. It's really tasty, slightly sweet, and it's got like that saltiness coming through. So now you just want to pulse this again until it comes together and you can pinch it together and it holds. So that's that and then you can just kind of feel it. It'll be a little bit moist but we're going to press this into the bottom of a springform pan. All right, so you just want to dump all of this into the springform pan. And then just kind of shake it, spread it out so that it's even, and then go in with your hands and you're going to compact this into the bottom, right out to the edges. You kind of can feel with your hand whether it's even or not in certain parts. And just make sure it's really pressed in there. I think we're good. And now I'm gonna show you how to make the cheesy filling without cheese. So for the cheesecake filling, I'm using some of my go-tos. You've seen me use raw cashews before. I've just soaked these in hot water for about 20 minutes to get them nice and soft. They blend up really creamy and smooth in a high-powered blender. So we're adding those. And now the tofu kind of helps thicken uh, solidify, gel up, you know, bind the cheesecake. So I'm using a soft tofu. And you do not taste it once we sweeten this. And then I am using a vegan cream cheese product. It's a plain one. And again, because this has like some binders in it and it's already set, this is our cheese substitute. And it helps uh, set it and bake it. Now we're adding granulated sugar. And then to enhance that tanginess of a cheesecake, we're doing lemon zest and lemon juice. So it's not that this is going to taste like lemon cheesecake at all. Once it's combined with the cashews, the sugar, the tofu, and the vegan cream cheese, it's not so much a lemony taste, it's just like a tang or an acidity on your tongue. So now let's blend this until it's super smooth and thick. to just push some stuff down the sides. You don't want any chunks of cashews. And I just see a couple. Two more seconds. Okay, so look at how velvety this is. It's very luscious. Okay, so this is gonna be tasty. It doesn't look like much right now, but when we bake it, 
it sets up real nice, just like a real baked cheesecake. So bring in your um, crust that you've pressed in here and just pour the whole filling in here. Bear with me, gotta scrape out the blender here. And now you want uh, your oven preheating at 350 Fahrenheit. This is going right in there for 45 minutes. And what you're gonna see to know that it's good is the edges will start looking golden brown. You'll see that. And the center will still be slightly soft, like you may even see it jiggle slightly. But don't overbake it. So just make sure this is nice and even. You can give it a little shake, tap, whatever. And we're going in the oven. So while your cheesecake is baking, you can make a fresh fruit compote for the top, and I've decided to use blueberries, which are my favorite. So you just want a saucepan over medium heat, and you can use fresh or frozen. You could also do mixed berry, raspberry, whatever you want. And all we're adding to this is some sugar, and some lemon juice. And you just wanna bring this to a simmer, cook it for about six to seven minutes until it's nice and juicy and cooked down and a little bit thicker, like a syrup. And then let it cool entirely before you top it on the cheesecake. Oh, it's taking a long time. It's not even bubbling. Okay, so we're good to go here. You just want to turn the heat off and you'll you'll be able to tell like the, the syrup gets a bit thicker and glossy. And then you just want to take it off the heat and to let it cool properly, put it into another bowl because this is so hot right now. And then don't put this piping hot thing in the fridge. Just let it cool at room temperature. And then you can always chill it in the fridge overnight if you want along with the cheesecake. So here we are, 24 hours later. <laughs> now what you need to do is when you take this out of the oven, uh, you have to let it sit at room temperature to cool off because it's so hot, you don't want to put that in the fridge. Then once it's mostly cooled off, you want to put it in the fridge to set overnight, still in the spring form like this. You can see we have that golden edge. It's nicely baked. And now it's solid and set up. So only now will you remove the spring form barrier to get a lovely golden sided baked cheesecake. Ah! And I'm not going to attempt to take it off the bottom, so we'll just put it on a lovely cake platter like this. I like taking it out to the table with all the compote kind of oozing on top. Nice and juicy. You're gonna have a little bit of extra because I think it's nice to serve some on the side if, if people are gonna wanna add more to their own slice. I'll just get it right out to the edge, get all the blueberries on there. Nice layer. All right, this is sexy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cut myself a slice. Very careful. Okay. Oh. Look at that little baby. Mm. And then yeah, you're just gonna get all blueberry ooze everywhere, but that's what you want. We're gonna put more on here for me. And there we have it, classic cheesecake. That's how you vegan it. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you're looking for the recipe, it's all written out in the description below. And if you wanna see more episodes of Vegan It, be sure to subscribe to Chatelaine's YouTube channel. Also, you can find me, I'm Hot For Food, on YouTube. I am dying to eat this. Mm.